Hello everyone under the sun. I've got a lot of housekeeping plans on my agenda today. I did this yesterday. I finally have a storage put up for the cactus and an overflow so that it'll stop being a lag spike area because I was starting to notice the server overloading anytime I was over here. And I'm pretty sure it's the cactus because ever since I fixed it, it's been fine. I did a couple of other things to try to help with that, but I want to build the facade finally for this and cover this with glass so that it stops being such a falling hazard and also probably build the facade for this house and I also want to build the facade for the cobblestone generator so that I can find it period. I think the cactus hut. work nicely right here. Nice. Foundation. Ooh. Is that part of the gunpowder farm? It sure is. I need to fix that too because these lava buckets are unfortunately causing the light level of this farm to get thrown off so the efficiency of it is a lot reduced. I believe it's because hoppers and chests are technically light transparent. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now the farm is back to working order. Minus just a teeny bit of inefficiency here and here, but I'll take that over the whole floors because I was basically losing out on like two whole half floors. So that's good, that's fixed again. All right, I got kind of a basic shape going on now. Just about to add in the stairs for the chest room. creatures volume is really low because of the withers I should uh, turn I should turn those back up I was like why does that zombie suddenly like he's so far away <laughs> Yeesh. and I also went ahead and fixed the flow pattern so that the gunpowder now comes through and like hits this wall before going onto the honey blocks so it actually hits all of the hoppers now and watching those two pieces go through, I I am now more certain than ever that this hopper had been getting skipped every single time a piece of gunpowder went through. So that's good. Now we've got way down to the chests. And there's yep, there's gonna be some stuff in there that isn't cactus. And I should probably do those. Inner walls too. Ooh. Oh, that was the cactus growing. I thought I thought the dirt broke that cactus. I was like, what? How? Impossible. Excellent. Now the f now the cactus farm isn't a hazard. I don't have to worry about accidentally falling into it. And now we're one step closer to finishing it. All right, I think I'm gonna get the other foundation put down before I start building the house. That way I have the shapes. And I can start thinking of ideas. Okay, so I did a bit of a remodel right here. I put in a floor some glass and I rerouted the path so that it actually is a cohesive staircase into the basement because this was gonna just be a, a big layered design but as of right now this has been fine so I don't really feel the need to make it any bigger and I was getting ready to plan out the facade for the cobblestone generator and it I, I was reminded by the fact that the generator itself is underneath the forge 
And that got me thinking, well, it doesn't really make sense to put the house all the way back here per se, because I don't have any path going to it yet. So I'm gonna remove this light pillar and put the house here, but give it kind of like a, like a backyard maybe, and then have like a little shed right around this area that I'll have a lever to turn on and off the generator and also do something like my iron farm where I've got the bulk storage underneath and a dropper elevator leading up to one single inventory that's automatically refilling once it's emptied. And we can have that chest be like in the house so that when you need bulk cobblestone, you come out to the shed. But if I just need like a couple stacks here and there, I can just come to the house. But before I do any of that, I've decided it's time that we fix the forge. So I'm gonna pop onto the lab and completely finalize, finish the schematic for it. We're gonna come back in here, place it in universe and see how much I'm gonna need to destroy and rebuild. I'm not looking forward to this. I just got done a minute ago breaking the bamboo portion of this which was really scary and I kept double checking, triple checking everything that I was breaking, but we got it back down to just the forge. This is going to be the new input for the fuel, which will be all charcoal. Got, I think I've got everything working again. Cause now that the forge is on, I haven't tested this thing in a long time. The loop is running. Yep, cause the forge is active. I've optimized this so that there's only two, two speed dampeners on each side instead of three. Cause this one was kind of already doing both. So I figured I'd just remove the, the red version. I might change these to red just for continuity, but everything seems like it's working. I'm doing a, a mixed box to hopefully burn out all the bamboo that's left in the furnaces because there was quite a bit in these hoppers so for now these are the only ones that are getting used by the fuel cart which there it is i was like where where has it gone that cart's working, this cart's filling. I love this forge. I might add some note pluck music just to make it more more obvious that it is on and working. Like a little dwarven song or something. All right, I got that figured out. I was overcomplicating it, but I figured it out in the end. should do that when the box is, how did there get it? How, hmm. I don't know how a piece of bamboo got in there and I don't like that. Hmm. You know what, maybe it fell into one of these hoppers and got zooped up. Yep, yeah, that, that, that would track. Cause I did drop a piece of bamboo a second ago. Cool. So now that should give us a nice little jingle once it's finished. And just for, actually it, should, it really shouldn't matter if any of these hoppers lock just because of the nature of them. There, now this whole thing has once again gotten just a touch larger and that's fine. I think we are completely done forging though. I think all there is left to do now is fill up this guy, right? Yeah, cause that hopper is getting bricks. There's nothing left in any of those. I specifically did this cause there can only be a full shoulder box worth of inventory. Let's see when that fills up, it should start going off. 
it should fill up. If it doesn't, we have bigger problems. That cart should be going around still because it is low. All right, I think I've got the circuit fixed. It's basically like a like a like an and or or like an if if and I think because it's it's reading the strength of this hopper, which will fill up before the shulker gets placed here. I think we're about to find out I might have to do like a delay I'm gonna run a couple more tests I think once I get this part finalized and then I'll make a schematic of it and toss it back into the server I've got my beacon back in place. I think in enough in a I think in an area that the forge will be affected by it. So we'll be able to just tear everything back apart and rebuild. Okay, so now we should be transitioning into off mode here any second now. And now it'll make one more pass, but then it will not be able to continue. Yes? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just to humor myself, let's do that one more time. Let's just watch the whole thing turn on. Perfect. All right, I'm a genius. I don't know if this is already in use or not, but I had a thought a second ago that was what items can be put in hoppers that simply just will not go into any kind of furnace snowballs so we're gonna see what happens if I basically limit the amount of fuel per furnace to two stacks of 64 instead of six and I'm gonna do a test now do a let's do a mixed box and we're gonna see what happens and whether or not the handicap of only being able to have two full stacks of fuel at a time will make a difference. Because if it doesn't, then that is going to be a huge efficiency to this forge only needing to fill... I, I might even... No, I wouldn't be able to go down to one. Duh. That would mean instead of needing six per 16 row, it's only uh, eight. I'm eager to see the results of this test. Oh, you will be back when this box of items has finished smelting. All right, last couple of blocks and then that shulker should get broke sent over here where there already is a hearty little stock of things and I might have some stuff stuck this is a great time I'm gonna probably end up with some stuff stuck in this guy I might end up switching this out for something that's less quiet but will work every time the right way so far it looks like everything, oh no, I know what happened here. Okay, I have fixed the crisis. I forgot that this block is actually attached to a piston. So when it updated, it broke all of this and uh, now shortened it a little bit, has not changed anything, let everything fill up and restock. And we're doing the same box over again. I changed our passive overflow a little bit. I actually might make a a over overflow where like if this happens to ever fill up, it'll like shoot off into this and then like there'll be a, a waste over here maybe. I think that'd be good because that way there's always charcoal being filtered into the charcoal chest at all times. 
but now we should be should be in business I kind of watched things as it was restocking everything I actually do think using the snowball trick is genius I think this is going to be a major boost to efficiency with this forge because now we won't have a huge ton of time invested in filling everything up because it'll only be 16 let's see 32 stacks yeah it'll only be 32 oh it's a full stack so in total i need 64 stacks of charcoal now with the snow technique because it's two for each furnace and then two for each blast furnace Okay, this is, this is looking up to be promising. Just finished up the last couple tests. I think I'm definitely a genius with the snowballs. I haven't noticed any efficiency decrease in forge activity since switching to the charcoal. In fact, after that load by the end of it all everything is full we're down to about there and everything is full which is uh a first the bamboo would have never taken this short of time the ba the bamboo version of this would have never taken this little time to fill back to full capacity so that when we just came over and Grab this box that just has two stacks in it. We'll, we'll do that one real quick. Just as one last visual tester. I've replaced a couple of the excess redstone blocks with just some netherrack lining to just kind of power all of the rails that were sporadically powered by blocks. Just to kind of clean up make it a little more resource efficient here it goes first carts launched and there goes the fuel and any second now this one will probably launch yep any second and that one's done and there, there, there goes that one. And so far, everything is still working. I also removed all of the scaffolding and replaced some of it with stone bricks. And I also went through and placed some composters on top of all of the use, all of the in-use hoppers to cut down on lag as I've seen done in other builds and just kind of cleaned everything up looks like we're done forging so this should just make its last pass we got our two stacks and now this chest should be full yep Yes, sir. And this should have already restocked everything here. Good, good. I'd say this first version of the forge as a whole is done. Okay, let's put it on the server.
All right. So, other than some cosmetic additions, the forge has been rebuilt. And I think I'm just going to rip the band-aid off and test it. And at first, I need to put everything away and then run to the nether and take a visit to our new wither farm because there is a lot of coal there. And we'll use coal as a first tester material. We'll use coal as our first test fuel. Okay, so I've got pretty much all of the furnaces. I've got all the furnaces filled up with some amount of fuel. Most of them are full with one stack. So... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about this part of the system. We're going to do a test, and I think... The first test I want to do is something that I've been wanting to use this thing for for a very long time. I should have enough fuel currently to get this box smelted up. And I'm not going to have enough time this week to put in the automatic fuel uh, stocking system, but that's all right. So, uh, did I do that perfectly by accident? Heck yeah. All right. First load test. And it should go into the right spot now. Yes. Good. All right. Now we're going to do a first proper test. I was editing and I thought that was coming from my video. That is the sound of a finished box. Hey! That's awesome. Look at that. But I think with that, that is going to wrap up this week. The forge is now finally rebuilt and operational. I'm going to obviously do some more tests on my own off camera now that it's all built. And I've still got to build the fueling portion of the farm down below. And it's going to go over in this space. Come up over here and end up over here. But with that... I'm going to end this video here. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.